Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my stash and of course some of the work in progresses that go along with it. But before I get into it, I want to thank you all very very much for 200 subscribers. I know it doesn't sound like a lot or is a lot but I mean for me that's pretty good. I didn't expect to get 200 subscribers in about a year and a bit of having my channel so you know that's pretty cool. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say at the start of this video. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this one. It's gonna be a gonna be a long-ish. Well, I can't can't tell you how long it will be, but I know it's not gonna be short. But with that, I really hope you guys enjoy and enjoy the video. Thank you very much. I'm gonna start off in no particular order. First thing I've got for you is probably my most recent purchase. This is the FX Fuga CM One Seventy Magister. Um, quite an interesting looking aircraft actually, you know, with the, with the twin tails and everything. I bought it for a discounted rate, as you can tell, and there is a re very good reason for that. If I show you this, there's quite a lot of loose parts in there. Look. Yeah, loose parts, not good. So that, that, that kind of explains why I've got it for a good, like, £3 discount. But, with that, let's move on to the next kit. And the next kit we've got is the um, FX Westland Seeking HC4. I'm guessing you might not have seen it, but the first video I ever did on my channel was an unboxing of this kit. I am personally a big fan of the Seekings. I grew up with them flying around me. And yeah, I'm, yeah like I said, I'm a big fan of this helicopter and I want to get the kit started, but also I don't particularly fancy dealing with the white camouflage that I want to do for it. So this one's going to sit in the stash for a while. Also I should mention, I do intend to build every single kit I've got in my stash. Probably. So you will most likely see them on my channel. Next thing we've got is the Airfix BAE Systems Hawk 100 series. Um, yeah, this is another kit that I've got. Not really that much to say about this one. But I, I do want to build it. And I'm probably going to build it in the um, in the black scheme because I haven't built that many black aircraft. But there is one coming. You might see the box for that one in a minute. You might not. We'll find out later. And next up, we got the brand new De Havilland Chipmunk T10 in 148 scale from Airfix. This is another kit I'm really looking forward to doing because uh, I'm a big fan of the Chipmunk, especially in the Royal Navy version because I have seen that version in person. So, so yeah, of course I'm going to build that one, but. Better keep this video rolling, otherwise it is going to be a long one, and I don't intend for it to be that long, but we'll see how it goes. So we'll move on to the next kit. Next up we got the new tooled Spezda Hurricane. This is one I have started building. Uh, it's right here. I've not done too much to it, that's why I'm showing it to you on the video. But yeah, um, this is likely to be the next unboxing on the channel. Um, I'm not sure if it will be or not, but yeah. Also, thought I'd mention, this video was originally going to be a build video for this P47 here, but it's taken me a bit longer to edit the video than I thought it did. So, that one might be a, uh, a little bit longer, but I'm hoping it'll be next week's video. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to get on to the next kit. And the next kit we've got is the uh, Airfix Luftwaffe Personnel Kit. Very small kit and we do have a plan for this one. I intend to use it for the Heinkel project. And for all those of you that are wanting, wondering, that is how the Heinkel is looking at the moment. I do plan on doing some work on this soon. I've just got, um, yeah, I've not got the parts that I need for the diorama and stuff. So I don't want to continue this one just yet. Next kit I've got for you today is the Airfix newish tall Tiger One. This does look to be an interesting kit. Very good. Very full box if you know what I mean when I say that but yeah this is one that is coming I don't know when but it, you will see it I'm, I, like I said I just don't know when same story with a lot of these kits but I do also have quite a lot in progress so I've got a bit to look forward to anyway we'll move on Next kit I've got for you is this Airfix Mish Smith BF109E4. This is one 
that I'm not going to do an unboxing of purely because I've had this for a while and it has a massive rip in the side of the box. But it is a kit I'm really looking forward to doing. I'm just kind of waiting till I can get a new compressor so then I can do this modeling here. But yeah, like I said, with every other kit, it will be coming, I just don't know when. And also, like I said, every kit I've shown this video will be built on my channel. So you've got all this to look forward to, and a bit more. So we call the Airfix Mishmit BF109 G6. This, yet again, is another kit that I've already started. But it's in a bit of a state, because um, I dropped it literally two days ago, and I knocked the landing gear off, and one of the tailplanes. I've got them both, I just need to glue them back on, and I can't be arsed. But this kit I have been using to practice my airbrushing. It looks alright, I only really did it on the underside though, so... Because I, I was a bit kind of scared about doing the top side, as, as you can see by, by the date marks. And next up we got the BF109 G10 from Revel. This is, believe it or not, another kit I've started. So I bought this one with the sole intention of using it for airbrushing and... Yeah, that's what I did. So that's kind of what it's looking like at the moment. Not finished yet, like I said I'm waiting for a new compressor. I'm quite happy with how it's turned out for the most part. Airfix, the humbrol paints are a bit grainy here and there, but you know. But yeah, this is a kit that um, I'm not sure when will be coming out. It will be... I don't want to say that actually. It will most likely be this year, or if not next year. But yeah, this is a kit I have been kind of annoyed that I've had to wait for due to my own stupidity. Actually, no, it's not. It's just the compressor failing on me. But yeah, this is something you should look forward to seeing. Next thing we've got is this Mish Smith BF109 E4-7 Trop. This is a kit I totally didn't forget I had until I started recording this video. But yeah, we got it. And um, this is another beautiful Tamiya kit. It looks really good. And it is another one I want to start, but mottling scares me, so I've I've not really not not really committed to doing it yet. And also I've got, like I said, quite a lot of stuff that I want to finish. So with that I'm just gonna leave this one in the shed for now and we'll move on to something else. Next up we've got this Grumman F4 F4 Wildcat. And um yeah, so this is another kit that I've started. Here's kind of what I was looking at. This one I'm hoping to get finished in the near future. I'm pretty sure I've already done an unboxing of this kit. If not, it'll be up in the near, like yet again in the near future. But this one is getting quite close to being finished. Next up we've got the Airfix Stu 3 75mm assault gun. This is yet again another kit I've started. So I've got it right here. This one is very, very close to being finished. Just needs a bit of weathering, the decals, the tracks put on, and the barrel to be fixed. Because it snapped off. But, yeah. Yet again, this will be another video for the very near future. But, like I said, I can't tell you exactly when, but I'm hoping it will be soon. So I can get rid of small boxes. Although I do love the box art in this kit. And we've got another kit that I've already started. This is the Airfix Gloucester Gladiator Mark 1-2. And I've got this one here. This one is also really quite close to being finished. I just need to buy this exact same kit again. It's very dusty because I've built, had this one built for ages. But um, yeah, I need to buy this kit again because I lost the canopy for it, which was, if you don't mind me saying, mighty clever of me. But yeah, let me know what you think of this one actually because I'm actually really quite happy with how this one did. Seeing as I brush painted the whole thing and I did it about a year and a half ago. This next one's not quite the, the usual kit you'll see from me, and it might not even be on the channel, but I might I might do one where I'm like painting it and weathering it and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I've got some signal boxes for my model railway that I've had to disassemble. I am working on making a plan for it, I don't know when it will be done, but it will be, eventually. Yeah, there's not much more to say about this kit, it's literally a box of signals. And the next kit we've got is the Revel Fockwolf. FW190 F8. It's another kit that I'm generally not really that fast on starting, purely because of all the mottling and stuff, but yeah, I do intend to get it done. Just 
maybe in a few years time when I've got more confident with my airbrush and got a new compressor but we won't go into that now but here we are there's our ankle and this one will be being started as soon as I've finished off some of my other projects yeah this is one keep your eyes on the channel this one will be coming some point in the future and say near future because there's like seven kits on my work in progress bench that I'm looking to finish soon Next up, we've got the Armour Fast Cromwell. Now, I know I've already built one of these. I uh, built this one, if you remember that video. But I have, there's two in here, so I'm planning on painting one in the, in the, in the scheme that's suggested on the box, in like the green. So, yeah, and that's kind of why I'm including this in the video, even though I've already built one. But I, I want to build another one in the green scheme. Next up, we've got Airfix's Bolt and Pull Defiant Mark 1. This is one that I have considered starting many times, but I just never got round to it. But, you know, I'll we'll take what I'm given, and to be honest. This is one that I do want to start, but, yeah, I've got to finish some other projects first. It's coming. This one, I'm hoping to come out this year, but it might not, so I'm not going to make any promises on that one. I'm hoping to bring this out in the future, or oh. near future, should I say. So we've got the town here, Eilishan IL2 Stremovic in 170 seconds ago. This is one I started a long time ago, but I've just not really got around to finishing it. Here it is. Mm, I see what I mean. I've, I've hardly started it. I've put the cockpit together and the few slide charts together. And I've also lost the footage for this half. But I'm still going to try and make a salvage video out of it. So, see how that goes. But yeah, this is a kit that I want to finish. I just haven't really had the time to get around to it because I, you know, have to work out uh, paint conversion schemes and all that sort of stuff to like to what paints I've got. And then next up, we've got the Airfix Top Gun Maverick F18 Hornet. Um, this one I haven't done yet because I basically I've been waiting for Top Gun 2 to come out because I want to build it around that time. Why? Because it'll be relevant, so it'll be more fun. This is the Airfix Fallen That T1. It's a really cool kit. I've known, I've seen some people who've done a really good job of this kit. I, I'm not fast on starting this one for a while, to be honest. I like it, but not something I'm desperate to start. It will come, like I said. I just, I just don't know when. This is the Revel F4J Phantom 2. This is one that I am looking forward to getting into. I have already started it. I think I've painted the seats and a little bit of the cockpit. But I'm not going to record an unboxing for this because the box is damaged on the other side. But yeah, I am going to build the like build it up eventually. I'm probably going to, like I said, finish some other projects first. This one though, I am looking forward to because I'm really happy with how the seats have turned out. At least so far. This is the Ravel Airbus A320 Air Berlin. Uh, I have started, I've built it all up. I'm not going to show you because I've not got it here. But there might be a video of this one, that's why I'm including it. I might do a video where I'm spray painting it, I might not, it just depends if I can get around to it or not. But, keep your eyes peeled, it could come, it could not, you just have to wait. Also, I might forget about it, but I'm going to include in this video because it's quite a cool kit. Next up, we've got the Airfix Best of British Supermarine Speedfire and RAF Red Arrows Hawk. This is a brand new tool for 2021 kit. It's like the rip the new uh, star kits, and yeah, I've started this bit far. It's right here. Um, I need to kind of try again with the paint, but I actually kind of like the effect that the kind of like the too much paint's given there. It's quite nice. On the inside, I need to give that another coat because I've had quite a bit of leakage. But you know, Hawk's not been started yet. That is one I am waiting on, just because I'm kind of scared about the red paint. But yeah, it's gonna get done some point, I don't know when, but it will get done, I promise. And next up we're moving on to some of the bigger kits, like this. This is my Heinkel HE111, H6. As you may have known, I've, I've already started this one. Mm, well, here it is. Um, yeah, I haven't done any work for this in a while, in a while, but I do intend to start doing some stuff for it, but you know, just not really got round to building it. I'm waiting for more parts of the diorama to arrive. So it could be a while till you see what see that one. 
But now I do promise that is the end of all the work in progresses. And with, with that, let, let's have a look at the next big kit we've got for you today. Next up we've got the Airfix North American B25B Mitchell. This is from the Doolittle Raid, so that's kind of the scheme I'm hoping to paint it. And uh, yeah, so I was launched off a carrot and all that sort of stuff. But this, I think I'm going to move on to the final kit. And it is the biggest kit I own. And it really won't fit on the camera, so you you just kind of have to have to have a small look at it. And I apologise for that. But, you know, we'll work around it. It'll be fine. And finally, we've got this. This is the Airfix Type 45 Destroyer. And it is so large that I've actually had to take my camera off my stand. Yeah, this one, it's not going to be getting started for a while. Because I'm most likely going to airbrush it and I want to get some photo etch and all that sort of stuff for it. So, not coming out for a while. Sorry about the shaky camera work, by the way. Anyway, and basically I want to thank you all very, very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And yet again, thank you for 200 subscribers. I'll see you all in the P47 build, build video, which will be coming out next. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day and good